Hi, I'm Ryan Miley, leader of Saskatchewan's NDP. I've been hearing from parents, grandparents, teachers, people all over Saskatchewan who are worried about the lack of a real plan to make sure our kids can go back to school safely in September. In fact, I was on the phone with one of those teachers today when Scott Moe made his, his minor changes to the existing non-plan. And, and her response was, I think this was bang on, her response was too little, too late. And too late, he just delayed the school year. What an admission of failure. He had months and months to get this right, and now he's forcing everyone else to change their plans as a result of him failing to make any. And resources, you know, we heard Mr. Wyant talking about a $200 million contingency fund. Now we know it's $40 million. We also know that that doesn't even bring us up to the per student funding that was in the education system back in 2015-16. This government has cut education so many times that those additional dollars don't even bring us back to what was there in our classrooms five years ago, let alone deal with the added challenges and needs during a pandemic. There's nothing on class sizes when we know our classes were already overcrowded and under-resourced and will not be able to cope with the current situation. No clear guidance on masks, nothing on ventilation in schools, and still the major decisions being downloaded onto the school divisions. Divisions that this government has cut over and over again. This isn't leadership. This is damage control. This is Scott Moe trying to spin his way out of a problem without actually being willing to do the work and fix it and make sure we have a plan so that teachers and staff and students can go to school safely this September. And it's exactly why we need a new government. We need a government that won't just work for friends and donors, but will work for everyone in Saskatchewan, a government that will put people first.